In this video, I'm going to discuss Pearson product moment correlation coefficient. And I am Sir Paul Jarel R. Santos. This will be the first part of our discussion of the uh, Pearson R, which is also known as the Pearson R. The objectives of this module, or at the end of this video, you can be able to first illustrate the nature of bivariate data. Second is you can construct a scatter plot. Third is to describe, you can describe shape, trend, variation based on scatter plot. It is also expected for you to calculate the Pearson sample correlation coefficient or the Pearson R and solve problems involving correlation coefficient or correlation analysis. Illustrating the nature of bivariate data, a variable is an attribute or characteristic that may take more than one value which can be measured or classified. The height and weight of students, number of hours students spend in studying at home, and daily allowance of students are examples of variables. From such variables, information is collected and analyzed. We are given a bivariate data. The degree of association between the two variables can be determined. Data that involve one variable is called univariate data. Univariate data are often described using the measures of central tendency such as mean median and mode, variation or the measure of dispersion or other descriptive statistics. Here are the examples or some examples of univariate data. Okay, we have here Department of Health recorded the number of infected COVID-19 cases from April 14 to May 21, 2020 in the Philippines. So the variable, variable involved here is the number of infected cases. That is an example of univariate data. And we also have here World, World Health Organization summarized the number of COVID-19 recoveries around the world. The variable involved here is the number of COVID-19 recoveries. Data, however, data that involve two variables are called bivariate data. The statistical procedure used to determine and describe the relationship between two variables is called correlational analysis. If we're going to take a look at the two examples here in Tayaba City Public Market, a consumer observed that the fewer is the supply of vegetables, the higher the price gets. So the variables involved here are supply and price of the vegetable. So as you can see, there are two variables. So uh, it falls under bivariate data. Okay, The Quezon Provincial Government gave emphasis that limiting the number of household members going outside to purchase essential goods will help decrease the rate of COVID-19 infection in the province. So the variables involved are numbers of household members and second, the rate of COVID-19 infection. So there are two variables that uh, in stake 